Hi, I'm Peter, and today we're looking at a 2023 Matino 2. This lovely example, just come back to Wellhouse, only 700 miles on the clock, and it was registered in 2023 in March. It's a top spec model with almost every option ticked, so let's take a closer look at it. Okay, so inside we've got lovely contemporary pale wood interior trim. It's also got, it's got the optional fitted uh, floor mats to this one and you'll see the uh, tracked floor so the seat can slide forward on these catches. You release these catches and then the seat can travel forward and back. Now this one, it's got two uh, rear travel seats, three point belts, adjustable headrests, Isofix, so these are special hooks that allow you to fit a child seat safely. And obviously in the front, we've got uh, swivel cab seats. So inside, as you can see, lovely contemporary finish with uh, wood grain cabinets. Down here, 25 litre Vitrifrigo fridge. Got the uh, cassette, sorry, the uh, chemical loo down here. Still in its plastic wrapping, I notice. So this one really hasn't been used. Uh, there's a cutlery drawer there. Just pan down. Somebody's uh, thoughtfully lined it with uh, some anti-slip material. And then over here, there's another uh, storage locker. And you've also got the, uh, the usual touchscreen uh, wellhouse control panel. So you press the button, puts the lights on, water pump, uh, internal lights, I think that one's, uh, that's the dimmer, isn't it? Uh, and it all switches off with that. Down here, another bank of switches, fridge, Webasto heater, still got the original plastic on it, so to all intents and purposes, this really is a new van. Under here, yeah, look, it's still got the, still got the plastic under the hob, so I don't think that hob's ever been used. Up top, we have a uh, mesh window to the side, uh, a vinyl window to the front, and then another opening uh, mesh window on the other side. So nice and light, and plenty of room. Uh, I understand they're going to fit a, a roof bed to this one as well. So it'll have um, four travel seats and four berths. Okay, heading to the rear. I've just opened the tailgate. Uh, down here, we've got the uh, optional LPG fill point, and there's also a gas takeoff point for a barbecue. Uh, in the uh, in the bag, in this bag, we've got the memory foam topper again. Looks like it's not been out of there. I'll just move that out of the way. And down here, we've got a refillable Gaslo uh, system. Again, that's an option. Then up top, oh, that's nice. It's had a safe fitted. So it really does have all the bells and whistles, this one. And you've got a storage locker. And then behind that, a couple of cubby holes. Your gas uh, valve um, switch on point for if the bed's down. There's also a cold water shower system on this van that allows you to rinse things off and plugs into this socket here. The table and table leg, it's got a freestanding uh, tripod leg system on this one. That's located on the back of uh, the uh, bed. 
And it's also worth noting this folds down, so that provides sort of a, an outdoor seating area, if you like. Um, it's good for uh, outdoor events because uh, obviously you get sheltered uh, by from sun and rain by the tailgate. So that's quite a nice sort of a uh, thing to use. Pop that back up. Back, blah, pop that back up. So into the cab area. Well, as you can see, um, it all looks as new because it is as new because it's only done 700 miles. So uh, cloth seats and we'll just head into the front. It's both got, uh, they both got swivel uh, seat bases. This particular van is a really nice spec. It's got an automatic uh, gearbox mated up to its 180 horsepower engine. Stop start uh, engine button. It's also got a really smart uh, stereo system with sat nav. So if we just poke that. Lots of features on this particular van. If you press the uh, end button, it will immediately go onto the mapping. Bluetooth connectivity for your phone. Various apps. Apple CarPlay. And lots of audio settings that I don't know how to work. So yeah, really good stereo system. So on the Toyota, you've got uh, electric uh, windows, electric uh, mirrors, controls on the steering wheel for your phone and various audio and computer controls. Instruments themselves, lovely and crystal clear. Really nice uh, spec. This is the 180 PS engine in this van, so uh, it has every bell and whistle. Auto, big fan of automatic gearboxes. They're uh, well worth having. Also, if you notice down here, if you press this M button, I don't think it does it when it's, uh, until it's running, but you've also got flappy paddles on the steering wheel if you want to uh, change gear manually yourself. Obviously, it's got aircon too, all the bells and whistles, and as you can see, the condition is, well, it's a new van really, isn't it? It also has a cruise control, and the electric mirrors fold back. And you'll also notice at the uh, top, edge of the mirror, if I'll just put the window down so you can see, you'll also notice at the top edge of the mirror there, it's got a blind spot symbol that, that flashes when uh, cars are getting near to you. It has those on both mirrors. This model has loads of options on it, including a reversing camera, the uh, Gaslo system we mentioned before. Obviously it's got the uh, alloy wheels, And down here, you can just see the outlet for the uh, diesel heater. It's also got a lithium battery fitted, so lots of options on this van, and even a solar panel. Okay, so there you have it, a 2023 uh, Matino 2 with only 700 miles on it. Uh, the one thing I would say with this one, if you're interested, be quick. Loads of people want to beat at the waiting list, and this one won't hang around for long.